Hello, I'm Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury on YouTube, Paul Pruder channel, and the Archie Luxury channel. Archie Luxury is the method actor who plays Paul Pluter. Today, I'm just I'm just had a little bit of a, a mental dilemma. We had a, a problem in my hotel room where I couldn't open the safe. Couldn't open the safe. And um, I had half an hour of contemplation. What happened if you lost your collection? What would you do if your collection was stolen? Could have had a fire in your home. Could have had any sorts of things happen. What would you do if you lost your collection? And um, the, these are the pieces in question. These were in the safe, as well as a few other little pieces. What would you do? You lost them. They're gone. Exodus. What would you do? What would you do if they went? Tell me what you would do. And uh, I tell you what. It's a very, very difficult thing. It can happen to any one of us. Our collection could be wiped out. It could be burglars. It could be fire, flood. Any sorts of natural disasters could happen. Repo man. What do you do? If you lost your collection, would you have the balls to start again? Or would it be just too devastating? You can't do it. And I got to tell you, I've been there before. Many years ago, I had a really fantastic Hornby O-Gage train set collection. I had electric locomotives. I had a princess. If you're into Hornby, these are tin, tin, tin electric and cl clockwork trains, O-Gage. I had a Princess Elizabeth, mint condition, outstanding condition in a presentation box. I had a compound, electric, 20, all 20 volt, all the better, 20 volts are the better ones. Compound, I had a, uh, a rare five box. I had 10 box sets. I had a 502, which is an electric set that only came to Australia after World War II. Very, very rare. I had a Flying Scotsman, Flying Scotsman, yep. Yeah. Flying Scotsman with the, with the wind deflectors. Very rare, one of those. I had... 1923 box set. Did I have some rare things? And after I had an affair, I needed money to, to, to bail myself out. I sold a lot of them off. I never had the courage to buy Hornby again. I've got a few pieces left. I've got a couple sets left, couple two clockwork sets and a whole stack of rolling stock, all box sort of nice stuff. but I never had the balls to start my Hornby collection again, which in many ways the pound's gone the wrong way. So if, you, if you're going to get out of something, that turned out to be a good thing to get out of, but I missed the stuff I had. I had some really good stuff, really, really cool stuff. Boxed Princess Elizabeth, ooh, very beautiful. And I mean, Starting again, I just had this horror story where I couldn't open the safe in my room and I'm thinking, has, it be, has everything been stolen? My, my watch collection been stolen? Has it gone? Has some bikey wearing a world time pressing the buttons, not knowing what the, the presser does? And I, and I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I've had a, it's really given me a shake up. Does it matter? If I wear the unicorn shirt, my ego was so big before, I, I couldn't possibly wear this shirt proudly. Now, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'll wear my unicorn shirt proudly, fuckers. I'll wear it proudly. And I look back and think, Jesus, I'm so lucky. I got my collection still. And what would you do if you lost your collection? Would you give up? That's it. No more. No more. Would you just give up? Would you 
would you start again? And the painful thing is, if they were stolen, I'd have to pay the guy back for the world time. So that's that's basically my gold sub plus 10,000 wiped out. Uh, would I... It's very, very painful. Very, very painful to start again, fuckers. Very painful indeed. And... Um, what would you do if it was gone or stolen? And it's, it's made me wonder, you know, do you really want all these possessions if you're fearful of theft and damage? Maybe one, one super piece. <clears throat> I don't know what to say, you know, maybe it's... Um, Maybe it was a dumb idea to have ladies' pieces on leverage buyout to a girlfriend, a mistress, and a bit on the side. Maybe that was a stupid idea to have three Rolexes on a, uh, a leaseback buyback deal for some bitches. Maybe I'm just too materialistic. Do you really need all these watches? Do you really need that stuff? Do you need that shitters? Do you need those? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know indeed. Why, what are you going to do? What would I say to the guy about the world time? What would I say? Oh, hello, Martin. It's, uh, it's poor Pluto here. Look, I got something really bad to tell you. The world time that you lent me that means more to you than anything on planet Earth was stolen. Can you cut me a deal on the price? Could you imagine that? How would I explain it to him? How would I explain that to him? What would I say? What would I say indeed? And uh, I got to tell you. How would I get my, <clears throat> my Reverso Grand Date back? How would I get that back? The glory days when I could buy that are gone. Well and truly gone, fuckers. I mean, I've got a, um, e e even a piece like the, uh, the humble Rolex Explorer 2, no holes case, solid end link. They ain't super cheap, are they? What would I say? What would I do? Or maybe I'd just buy one speedy and be done. Get a speedy speedmaster man on the fucking moon and be done. What do you reckon? <clears throat> what do you reckon? Could I do that? Could I do that indeed? And uh, I got to tell you what, sometimes you look at your material goods you own and do your material goods own you or do you own the material goods? Very, very tricky question. It's changed me. I used to be such a vain fucker. Now I don't mind wearing the, um, the unicorn shirt. It's okay. It's all cool. It's cool. This is what the world is like. The world can be... The world can be a nasty, vicious place. Starting again. Would you have the courage to start again if your collection was stolen, damaged, lost? What would you do? In, in my case with the Hornby collection, I didn't have the balls to start it again. I know someone else who had a huge camera collection that went underwater in the floods a couple of years ago and uh, he's, uh, he's rekindled it. He's also gone a bit insane. What would you do, fuckers, if you lost your collection? What would you do? Tell me, tell me, tell me, I'm Archie. Archie Luxury, tell me what you do, fuckers. We specialize here in pre-owned 
Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best. Hello fuckers, I'm Jesus, and I wanted to thank you for watching the Archie Luxury channel on YouTube. Archie is one funny fucker, and I love his work, unlike some other nasty fuckers. Did you know some of the other nasty fuckers worship Satan? That's right, they worship the devil. I love Archie Luxury, and I know he's happy you are watching. Love you all, and please keep watching. Please look in the description of this video to find 10 ways you can help Archie.